Well, RuneScape Classic may be gone, but I made a ton of progress in the final two weeks and got almost everything I wanted done. I witnessed the end of my first online game, and since, I've pretty much moved on. If you haven't seen my goodbye video, check it out. I'll put a link in the description. Now, let's get into some classic progress clips. A few clanmates and I decided to take some epic screenshots. It would have been nice if more people showed up, but it was still pretty cool. We took one of the later ones in the void uh, near Taiwanai, and that looked awesome. Back to attack training. I followed through on my plan of getting 82 flats first before 84, and so after a lot of grinding, I got 82 attack, and then I switched gears to defense. This skill is kind of a bore to train, uh, just it goes so much slower than strength training, so. Eventually I got close to 81 hit points, at which I would become 99 combat, so I decided to stage the level up screen a bit. With the help of a friend finishing off a kill while I got into position, I got a new combat level. 99 combat was a huge milestone for me, so it was so awesome to achieve this. Sometime later, I got 82 defense and started focusing on strength again to get that HP level. After a few hours of that, I was close to 82 hit points, and with that level I would become 100 combat, so I decided to stage the level once again. Uh, I, I actually won a duel against a friend outside of Camelot with a few people cheering me on. That was pretty epic. Finally, I had joined the elite ranks of the level 100s in RSC. Shortly after the level up, my friend Zig gave me a green party hat to keep this time, albeit only for a week because of the closing. Oh, and we discovered a hilarious glitch with Thrantax just outside of Camelot. There seemed to be like dozens of them spawned in one place. That was pretty funny. After all that excitement, it was back to strength training, back to the grind. At this point, I knew I couldn't get to 84 flats unless I didn't sleep at all that last weekend, and I just didn't want to live with that. So I decided to go for 84 strength so I could hit 30s, as that would knock out one of my smaller goals. So I got that level 2, and that completed my melee training. While raiding Black Demons, I finally hit a 30. Epic. During my melee training, I decided to attend Jebrim's 140 million Agility EXP party in Falador. This guy has put a ridiculous amount of time into training Agility in RSC. It's too bad he didn't have enough time to get 200 million EXP. This achievement at 140 million though was definitely years and years in the making, so kudos to him. I'm pretty sure he's legit by the way. That's like getting 99 agility 10 times. <laughs> Jesus. Was happy to help a few new and returning players, Stinkfire and Mango Spec, with the Heroes Quest. I'm a black arm, so my part is pretty easy. You know, grab the black armor, and that's pretty much it. I remember what it was like back in, like, late 2016, though, when I knew no one except a few people that bought it and never responded to PMs. Finding a partner for that quest was hell. Glad I was able to help these guys. There was a really cool free-to-play PKing event on Saturday before the closing. It was basically a free-for-all set at Castle, with the rules being no mage, no range, and basically F2P items only, so swordfish and strength pot, that's it. People brought range and mage anyway, which kind of sucked because I didn't. I had a lot of fun fights, though. Made me wish RSC wasn't closing, honestly. Free-to-play PKing becomes so much more fun with high strength. On the morning of the last day, I finally got 67 agility and decided to check out Salarin once and for all. It was exciting checking out that new area, unlocking that, man. I got a few kills in, but no sinister key. I didn't really have the time to stay there and grind it. Turns out my friend Time actually got a key drop like 3 minutes after I left. <laughs>
So, time to do one last KVD trip as a clan. The Shadows of Mistelin head out to the KVD lair for a final time. I'm going to miss these a lot. So many great memories over the past year of coming here, every Sunday and teaming up on KBD. Interestingly, we got yet another deep med drop, which was a nice ending for our final trip. After our KBD trip, Bank sent me a dual request and put a left half in the offer window. While I was hoping all along to get this drop from a monster, I suppose this will do. It was pretty nice to experience putting the two halves of the shield together and finally equipping that beast of an item. Finally, my shield was red. I mean, three hours later I lost in a really ugly deathmatch, but it's the upgrade itself that counts. By the way, I'll be uploading some sequels to Alter Showdown soon, so stay tuned. Remember this? Once I get 65 fishing, drink a fishing pot, and I'll be able to left-click cage, which is going to be awesome. But anyway, well, I eventually did. On the night of the last day, I decided to make a last-ditch effort to get 65 fishing and explore the fishing guild once and for all. I was literally grinding fishing EXP three hours before close, and I got 65 right around 30 to 45 minutes before the game was supposed to shut down. I quickly teleported, grabbed a fishing pot, and headed to the fishing guild. It was awesome. Dude, I immediately realized what I was missing this whole time. It wasn't just the killer lobster fishing spot, but also one of the last parts of the map that I had finally unlocked. It seemed like a really nice, peaceful place that I definitely would have enjoyed skilling at had I gotten the level requirements sooner. The cool thing is there is a range there and a surter, so you could literally fish, cook, and surt all in one spot. Pretty cool. Sadly, it had come down to the final minutes of RSC. I arrived in Draenor about 15 minutes prior to the expected shutdown time. There were so many people there, like over 350 I believe, mostly in the Draenor area behind the bank. I decided to find my friends and park my account on the edge of the train near the bridge to the Wizard's Tower, and the expected system update text came on. It was pretty sad. My account ended up logging out due to an activity, which I at first thought was the official end, but it wasn't. It turned out one of the J-Mods for Jagex delayed the shutdown to help some random Twitch streamer called Titus Furious finish Legends. I guess they didn't want to shut it down as someone was close to finishing the quest, which was a nice gesture, but damn, everyone else had to wait another hour and was getting super late on a Sunday. I didn't work the next day, so I stayed online with a few friends. Eventually that streamer, Titus, finished the quest and we got another system update. I decided to end it all in style by dueling a friend. During the duel, we both logged out, and that was pretty much it. When I tried to log back in, it just said, please wait, connecting to server. I thought there might be some fancy error message, but it looks like there wasn't. My friend Ryder took an interesting screenshot just before the shutdown, which was all of us logging out at once. Pretty sad. Let's not end this video on a sad note. I've had a blast playing RuneScape Classic over the many years, and I thank the Gower Brothers for their awesome creation. To most people, RSC seems like a game that has definitely aged, but I saw more than that in it. What began as a nostalgic return to my childhood evolved into a nearly full-time interest, which created the shadows of Mistelin, friendships with tons of legit players, and great memories that will never be forgotten. I hope you've enjoyed this little trip of RSC progress. It's been so much fun to make. Stay tuned as I will be uploading more RSC vids that I didn't get a chance to upload in the past. See you next time.